Not one, not two, not three, but four. We are getting four easy A's on the JP seven year anniversary, which means Global will be getting these units eventually too. And always with the advantage that Global has of time, you guys can take the time now to link level up these guys. And Global has an even more special thing going on that JP does not have. So we'll talk about that in a second, but let's first go over these translations. Shout out to the homie Goresh. We are looking at the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta first. This guy is our first 170% fusion lead. Key plus three, love it. I know it's a little bit unnecessary now with the 200% meta, but still better late than never, right? This is still excellent. Tech type, key plus 300%. 100 times Big Bang coming on me, huh? Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. Cause immense damage. So far, it's the same and greatly lowers defense. That's the change here. For the passive, Gogeta finally gets some defense, which is good because this guy now has some utility in the first slot. If you're a JP player, you probably wouldn't have this guy in the first slot anyway because you'd have the seven-year LRs there. But still, this guy now has a purpose in the first slot. That was always the weakness with some of these Super Saiyan 4s. They're kind of reactionary. They're not really proactive. So this guy gains defense plus 150. Extreme class, attack and defense minus 20%. High chance of attacks of being effective against all types. Interesting. It's a high chance. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 25% for five turns every time when performing a super attack max of 50 Great chance of evading enemies attack with counter. Okay. So this is interesting. This is a new passive here. This is kind of like what you see in those temporary stacking units. Basically, they raise their stats by a certain amount for X amount of turns. And then after those turns drop off, they kind of drop down to the original level. The goal is to keep on supering so that you can establish a new medium, which is good. And uh, this kind of reminds me of the Super Saiyan 3 trunks, right? Like, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks and these types of units raise his attack and defense by 30% for 9 turns. So kind of think of this as the same thing. Where he's not only raising attack and defense temporarily for the moment in his super attack, but he's also gaining some residual offense and defense for a couple of turns afterwards. Which means he can actually function in the first slot a little bit better. Still, without damage reduction, there's always a risk, but it's better than before, right? No defense at all nerfing the enemy by 20% and then kind of just waiting for enemy to attack and then hopefully counters. The countering is a 70% chance. So I believe this is why they gave it a high chance to be effective against all types. Because if you're a Gogeta, you would usually have that ability, but Gogetas also don't have counters, right? So since this is someone that walks between both worlds, little reference, uh, that is why they're giving a little bit of uncertainty to both effects, which I think is fair. High chance to be effective, a great chance to dodge and counter. All right, now let's take a look at Omega Shenron. We are also looking at another 170% lead. This one, Shadow Dragon Saga. Love it. Key plus three, 170%. Physical, key plus 300%. Minus energy powerball. Raises defense for one turn. Causes immense damage and great lowers defense. So here, Shenron is actually gaining some defense. Love it. Attack and defense plus 150. So same thing. This unit also suffered from the lack of defense. So we got that now. All enemies attack and defense minus 20%. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 10% per attack performed, max of 70. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. So this guy's kind of functioning like the cooler EZA, the physical cooler EZA. So let me actually pull that up. Um, what would that guy be under? Uh, cooler, cooler, cooler movie bosses. Okay. That is uh, cooler. With his EZA, he did something similar. So with this guy's EZA, Launches attack that has a medium chance of becoming super attack. Attack and defense plus 8% with each attack performed, up to 80. So it's the exact same thing, except it doesn't massively lower defense. So this guy just got a whole lot better. You can actually put a little bit more of an emphasis on his critical now, because he's got a built-in additional going on. So there are your two Dokkan Fest category leads. Last year, we had Ultra Instinct Goku. <laughs> this is all for part two, by the way. Now, let's talk about the God Saiyans. We've got God Goku and God Vegeta. God Goku, super tech type, key plus 3, 130%. Godbind raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and seals. Okay, so he gains a defensive portion here. Love it. This guy was already really good, by the way. If you guys didn't know, damage reduced by to 77% when there's a movie boss category enemy is ridiculous. This guy can single-handedly carry you through 200, 300, maybe 400 levels of certain EZAs. Now, let's see how much better he is. Key plus three, 150% stats. Okay. Ran randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. This is going to be great. For the seven-year LRs. Now that you can change... Uh, well, I mean, you, he already could. But having this guy run with the LRs is going to be great because of that rainbow key sphere changer. Attack and defense plus 7% in addition per key sphere obtained. All right, so here it was attack plus 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained. Here it is attack and defense plus 7% in addition per key sphere obtained. This guy just became so much better. 
Attack and defense plus 77 while collecting two or more rainbow key spheres. Holy cow. Damage received minus 77% when there's a movie bosses or pure Saiyan enemy. Oh my god. This guy just became the god, pardon the pun, of the legendary Goku Vegeta event. Damage reduction 77% against pure Saiyans. I mean, I know why they're doing this, right? Because Broly is a pure Saiyan. This is ridiculous. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let me pull up the uh, movie heroes. All right. So let's take a look at his little counterpart here. So this guy gains, yeah, critical hit plus 7% per rainbow key sphere. So this god Goku just made the LRs so much better. So much better. And then when this guy transforms into blue, same deal. Dodge and critical hit plus 7% per rainbow key sphere. Absolutely a must have now on your Beyond Super Saiyan Movie Heroes team. So that is unbelievable. Vegeta is going to be so good. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Vegeta. STR, uh, super STR type, keep us in 100%. Greatly raises attack. Cause supreme damage and greatly lowers defense. Okay, so the change here is the defense reduction. Okay. For the passive, key plus three, attack and defense plus 150. High chance of guarding all attacks. Dang it. I was hoping they would maybe upgrade that. Okay. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 77% after receiving an attack for three turns. That's good. Okay. Medium chance of performing an additional super attack. All right. So now we've got a built-in additional for this guy as well. Great chance of stunning the attacked enemy when there's a movie bosses or pure Saiyans category enemy. Okay. So this guy is going to be really good for Super Battle Road against pure Saiyans and movie bosses. Already he had some utility on Super Battle Roads because of movie bosses. But now, since we've increased the parameters tremendously to pure Saiyans, this guy basically functions as a stacker and somebody who can stun pretty consistently because it's a 70% chance. Since it's a passive, though, it's a single turn stun, but still better than nothing. Unfortunately, I don't think this guy compares to the God Goku. This guy's really good. But he is not, he's not better than the God Goku. God Goku, I think, is the most surprising of the EZAs. Because now having a damage reduction of 77% against Pure Saiyans, given everything else that he does, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. So, those are your four EZAs. Obviously, if you're a JP player, you are in a really good spot because you probably have the new LRs. Which means you're going to be running these guys at 200% capacity, which is going to be fantastic for you. But if you're a global player, fear not. We've got something that JP does not. If you guys are trying to recalibrate your units, which I do recommend you do, you should do so right now. So let's say, for example, Vegeta. Vegeta's got a medium chance of performing an additional super attack, which means you could arguably put a little bit more of an emphasis on his critical because he's already got a built-in additional. So if we go into the game here and we want to change this, I could do so at the cost of one Dragonstone as opposed to five. For the next five days or four days, depending on when you're watching this, maybe even less, you can still change these abilities for one Dragonstone instead of five or ten before the version Z update. So global, this is a big W because let's just say you had your units completely built wrong and you had to recalibrate six nodes on each unit. Just imagine six times four, that's 24 nodes. You multiply that by five, that's 120 Dragonstones you would have spent outside of this celebration. Now you are only going to be spending 24 Dragonstones as opposed to 120. And just imagine if we didn't even have the version Z update, global players. You would have had to spend 240 Dragonstones to recalibrate, or of course, using dupes. So, big W for global, big W for JP. Let me know what you guys think about these units and rank them. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments your rankings for these EZAs. And do you feel like the Vegeta is a little bit better than the Goku, or the Goku is a little bit better than the Vegeta? Just let me know your overall thoughts about these guys. I feel like God Goku is the best out of all of them. And then Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned. And always remember to Dokkan responsibly.